Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I have a drugstore haul. I've been doing a lot of high-end hauls. I've been in the cosmetics company store. All of the bigger brands were having sales. And so I kind of got swept up in that a little bit, but I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I found either online at some more affordable brands or stuff that I've picked up at CVS or Walgreens or Target or something like that. So all of these products are inexpensive. So if you've been looking for some new stuff to pick up, you might find something in this video. Before we get into it, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know when I upload. If you've been watching, you know we do hauls, you know we do reviews and we do tutorials. So you're gonna find something that you love. I won't keep you guys waiting. If you want to see what I've picked up during my drugstore affordable makeup product haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So real quick, I just want to show you guys my t-shirt. This is one of the shirts from the Beauty and Strength brand that I've created. The link for the merch is down in the description box, but this just says winging it just like my eyeliner and it has the little logo on it. So if you guys don't know, I did start just kind of trying to get a feel for the merchandise, made some shirts, some of it's lifting related, some of it's beauty related, but if you haven't seen, check out the link in my description box and you'll see some of the other designs that I have available. So we're gonna start off with BH Cosmetics. They had a sale and I have been looking at some of the stuff that they had on their website and I was like, you know what? We haven't used any of their stuff. I started off when I first got into makeup, I used some of their stuff and then I kind of got swept up in just all the new stuff and high-end stuff. So this is kind of revisiting the brand for me. One of the things that I picked up is this Paradise Set Hydrating Setting Spray. So this is what the packaging looks like. And it basically just says it is a coconut scented mist to improve makeup wearability with a boost of hydration. And this is what the packaging looks like. Really cute. I like this green kind of teal color aquamarine, my birthstone. And let's check the mystery. Y'all know I gotta see. fan on but this is a very fine mister so this is good the next thing i picked up i just picked this up because of fomo and seeing everybody doing reviews on it this is the bff alondra and elsie palette this is what the packaging looks like beautiful rose gold and then that's the outside of the carton and then when you look on the inside these colors are just really pretty and i thought this would be really good for spring since it has the pops of blue so that's what that palette looks like y'all know me and my blues and then that messy shade in the middle it looks kind of like a bluish green it is definitely a green i'm just swatching some of the shades that I'm drawn to of course so they're shimmers and they're blue so that's some of the shades they are absolutely gorgeous you see the shine on those so that's some of the swatches there these colors BH Cosmetics has beautiful eyeshadows I actually think I started off liking these more than ColourPop but I think because ColourPop is so much more accessible now that it's in Ulta I've kind of gravitated towards that. There are some BH Cosmetics palettes in Ulta now, but they are very limited. So it was just easier to get the um, ColourPop shadows and more of a variety. So cannot wait to play with this. I will do a look with this palette for you guys to see. I also decided to pick up some of their brushes. I've heard a lot of good things about their brushes. I just hadn't picked up any in a while. And honestly, I thought this set would be really cute on display for my vanity. So this is the Smoke and Mirrors 10 piece brush set with a cosmetics bag. Don't really need the bag. This is what the box looks like. So those are the brushes that come in it. This is the bag, really cute. And then these brushes are actually mirrored. So they're going to look absolutely beautiful 
and shiny and gorgeous on my vanity. So that is what they look like there. I might use them. I might not. It's not what we bought them for, but that is what it looks like. Very shiny and sparkly. The other two items that I picked up from BH Cosmetics, I picked up two of their lip creams. It was really hard to tell the colors online. And to be honest, these look very similar. So I'm not too happy about that. I picked up, it's the Cashmere Cream Comfort Lipstick. I picked up the shade Perf and the shade Roast. I will show them to you guys, but these are very light and they are nudes. So they're not going to look that much different on my lips. You guys honestly will probably not even be able to tell the difference. These are the two shades here. I guess you can see it a little bit. One's a little more peachy and the other one's a little more brown, but definitely too damn close to have gotten both of them if I'd have known. So this is Perf. Y'all, that is so light. Dear Lord. That is what the shade looks like up there. You can barely see that. And then I'll put them next to each other and you will see Oh, I hate shopping online. This is Roast. This is Perf. You probably can't even see that. Maybe a little bit, but they look almost identical. Now we're going to move on to Milani. That's all I got from BH Cosmetics. I placed an order on Milani's website because they were having a 30% off sale. So I just picked up some stuff that I knew I didn't have already because I do plan on doing a video with a full face of Milani. So I picked up one of the mascaras. This is their highly rated extreme volume mascara. It says extreme volume and curl. So this is what the packaging looks like. Have not used this before. Actually, this one I got from CVS. The other ones are in a pack that I got from Milani. So, so this is what the packaging looks like. Really cute. And then show you guys the wand this wand kind of reminds me of the uh which one l'oreal voluminous like the original so i really like that formula so hopefully this will be close to that oh i bought another mascara see this is what happens when you have coupons and you get discounts and then you forget what the hell you buy anyway this is I was definitely excited about this. This is the Milani Glow Hydrating Skin Tint. I got shade 310 medium to dark. I actually saw this first in Ulta and I was gonna get it, but it wasn't on sale. And I was like, well, you can use a coupon. And then I saw it on the website and it was even cheaper. So I was like, yes, I am glad I waited. So I'm gonna show you guys what this shade looks like. Ooh. It looks darker in the tube. We all know that that is a little lighter than I wear my foundations, but it is probably my skin tone. So I will use this when I do my review, just so you guys can see. I feel like, I don't know if it's the glow that's making it look lighter or what, but can definitely see that it has a sheen to it. Very pretty. I also picked up their Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. This is in the shade 130 Deep Peach. I think this is gonna be very similar. I have another product like this, I think from Flower Beauty maybe, but this is more like a moisturizer. Yeah, this one's really light. This is not as orange as some of my other ones. This is what the shade looks like here on my finger. Oh, it's got a little more color than I thought it did. So it's not that stark orange that you guys have seen whenever I do my color correcting before I do my foundation, but it's still a little peach. So I'm wondering if this is supposed to be like a, it says an under eye tint. This probably is like the new Fenty, I don't know the names of them because I'm not buying them. I'll put it on the screen, but the new Fenty, not the concealers, but the new bright eyes things that just came out. I think this is probably similar to that. It's not as full coverage as a concealer, 
but it will still help. So this, I would have to wear a concealer over it, but it would help correct some of the darkness under my under eyes, which is good. This is the other mascara that I picked up. This is the Lash Trifecta. It says it lengthens, curls, and separates. So it's in this blue tube. And then I'll show you what the wand on this one looks like. Oh, this is the kind of, see, some people don't like these. This is that bristle and it's curved. Some people don't like these, but I feel like for me to get really good length, these usually do better than just the regular brushes. So these are like the plastic, I don't know if you call it plastic, silicone, what, but I like brushes like this. So I will keep you posted on that one. I also picked up two lip liners. Let me make sure that's it. Um, I picked up the shades Rich Cocoa. I picked up two Rich Cocos. <laughs> oh, Barbara. I think I picked both of these up by accident. I don't know why I would have got two unless they were like super cheap, but this is a brown. That is the packaging. It is a retractable, which is my favorite. See, this is a good brown. It's not too dark and it's still warm. So that'll look good with a nude lipstick without, it'll blend easier than with a harsher brown. I also got, I did not have any Milani brow products, so I picked up this eyebrow tint brush pen. It says it's like a microblading pen. Natural hair like strokes, always fresh color tint, shouldn't skip. I've never used one of these. I did pick up the, which one, Urban Decay Brow Blade a while back, which I also have not used yet but i used to think my brows weren't thick enough to use products like this and now that they've started to grow in more i think i could get some use out of this i hope because that's what we're using <laughs> in the tutorial so it better be i also picked up the milani prime perfection hydrating primer it says it primes the skin to create a smooth canvas for makeup hydrates and creates a natural finish reduces redness minimizes the look of pores and it's lightweight and non-greasy I'm hoping this is kind of like my Becca Brighten and Blur. Um, more just like it's moisturizing, but it also kind of helps smooth things out. That's what it says. So hopefully that's what it does. But I will let y'all know when I do the video. This Milani product I got from CVS. This is their Milani Glow Gel Cleanser. It says it gives you a clean, natural glow. It has electrolytes, coconut water blend, cleanses and removes makeup without stripping your skin, glow enhancing ingredients, rinse hydrating glow, and it has a light coconut scent. So this is what it looks like. I didn't know they were even making skincare products. I do use their priming oil, the rose oil, and I love that, but I didn't realize other than like lip balm and a lip scrub that they were actually doing skincare. So I was just curious to see how that works. I got a few more things from Milani. I picked up this translucent setting powder. This is their translucent light to medium absorbs oil and mattifies. Yeah, it's just a setting powder. I was thinking this would be similar to the Sephora setting powder, but hopefully it is actually translucent like it says because the other shade would have been too dark. I'm not gonna open this, but that's what it looks like. It is a white powder that I hope is translucent. I'll use it in the video so you guys will see it. Hopefully it's not too drying, but if it is, I probably just won't use it directly under my eyes, but maybe in my cheek area. I decided to go ahead and get more of the cream blushes. I did pick up one a while back. I think I got it from Ulta or CVS, I'm not sure and then I probably CBS and then I saw them on the website and there were more shades so I just decided to grab some more I didn't grab all of them I just grabbed the shades I thought I would be the most interested in so this is nude kiss which is a very beautiful neutral then I got this gorgeous pop of color this is Europe peach these colors look so good on dark skin I know it looks really intimidating but it just gives you the most beautiful flush without looking too red and too artificial. And then the last one I picked up is Merlot Moment. 
So this one is a little more berry. So this is Merlot. So that is what the shade looks like there. I'm actually putting it over that tinted moisturizer so you can see they look a lot more pigmented than they come off. That's just one little swatch. This next one is Nude Kiss. So that's what it looks like there. Second one. I don't know if you guys can see that. That one is super light, but very pretty. If you're looking for just a natural light makeup day, this would be good. And then this last peachy one, I have to see if it's as bright as it looks in the pan that looks so intimidating there it is on my finger yeah see once you actually put it you can barely see that i decided to pick up another shade of the milani cream to powder foundation you guys saw in my cat bondi let me not kbd vegan beauty video when I did the comparison that the shade I had just wasn't that great of a match for me. I thought it was a little too light. This is the next darkest shade and I feel like this one, this is 280 spiced almond. The one that I had was 275 amber and I think this one is going to be a little too red. Not red, but I think it's a little too dark. But I prefer my foundations that way so this is, <laughs> that looks a lot darker Wow, let's see. Oh no, that's actually, I like the undertone of this too. You can barely see that. That blends in with my skin so well. Oh, I'm so glad I got that because I was worried that the shade was gonna be too dark, but that looks like it's gonna be a perfect match. And then the last thing I picked up from Milani is this, I don't even know which one this is. I picked up an eyeshadow palette. I've never used any of their eyeshadow palettes. I used to have their little singles, but I got rid of those because I had them for forever and I wasn't using them. This is the, oh, I lie. Ah, yes, I remember. Okay, this is their face palette. This, I was confused because it's so damn small. This is so much smaller than I thought it was going to be. So this is my phone. I have a Galaxy S20. This palette is small. Like, I thought this was much bigger than what it is for a face palette. So... I was kind of disappointed about that, but I did pick up, this is the darker one. Does it say a name somewhere? Yeah, at the top, volume 120, medium to deep. So this is what the palette looks like. The shades are absolutely gorgeous. I just, I really thought it was bigger than that. So the middle shades are eyeshadows. The top and the bottom are mattes. The middle is a shimmer. And then this is a, blush this is also a blush and then this is your bronzer and your highlighter so i'm just gonna swatch the highlight which is very gold but it feels very creamy and then i'm gonna swatch that lighter that blush kind of reminds me of nars orgasm but more color to it so that's the blush and the highlighter there let's see how deep this bronzer is because i don't know if that's gonna be a bronzer for me might be able to build it up but it's not it's not very deep could definitely build it up though so i think this is gonna work i i wanted to get these as soon as i saw they came out with them because i love face palettes but a lot of times they're just hit and miss either. all right so now it's time to jump into the stuff that i got from cvs and there is some milani in here as well but there is some other stuff i did get an eyeshadow palette i knew i wasn't tripping this is the Milani Gilded Terra eyeshadow palette. These colors. This is the packaging. Of course, I was like, ooh, looks like there's some green in here. And absolutely. And I hope these colors are as pigmented as they look. Look at that. And those shimmers in the middle are so pretty. I looked at another one and I opted for this one because it also had the purples. Let's see, these pans are really small, hard to get your finger in. Those are some of the shades right here. These are very pretty. Let's see how they swatch. 
The mats are a little chalky, like, I guess I swatched them too hard. It's coming off a little patchy. You can see there, there's some spots that are a little darker in the two mats, but these colors are very pigmented. So that is going to be a gorgeous look when I do it. I also picked up this Milani Champagne d'Oro Baked Highlighter. I heard so much good stuff about this and I think that I was hoping that it would be a dupe for one of my Pat McGrath highlighters. This is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me off the bat of the one in the gold container, the champagne gold one. And this one does say champagne gold, so that's probably why. Oh, but this is so smooth. So that's the highlighter there. That really does remind me. I don't think it's as, it doesn't feel as smooth and silky as the Pat McGrath one, but hold on, I'm gonna swatch it and show you the shades. Since I had it right here already, this is the one I was talking about, the super heavy looks. Yeah, hers looks a little more pink. So I'm gonna hold them up so you can see them both. So of course this is Pat on this side. Okay, the shades are not even close to the same, so that, the lie detector test determined that was a lie. That's Pat, that's Milani. Still a beautiful highlighter. It is a different tone, which is good because I like to have products that are different and not the same, but it is not the dupe that I thought it was gonna be. These are the other two Milani cream blushes that I picked up. I did get these from CVS. This is Coral Crush. And then this is Blushing Berry. So this is Coral Crush. And it looks different than the ones I swatched earlier. So I'm happy about that. It's not as bright and neutral as the pink one, the peach one. And then this next one is the Blushing Berry. Definitely more of a berry. They look so pigmented on my hand and then I go to swatch them out. Well, that one still has some pigment, but it's not as bold. I also picked up the Milani Stay Put Brow Color. So I picked up the pen that is more for like bushy micro blending look. And then this one is like the Dip Brow from Anastasia and all the other places that have a brow gel. So I just wanted to have options in case the other pen did not work. Oh, and this one I picked up in the shade 05 Dark Brown. The last thing I have from Milani, I picked up a lip color. I do have some of their bullet lipsticks. I have several of those, but I wanted to try one of their liquid lipsticks. This is the Nourishing Lip Plumper, actually. So I don't know if it's more like a gloss or like a lipstick. I do, I used to have, I might still have the Amore Lip Creams, but those are so old, I don't even know if they're good anymore. Okay, yeah, this is definitely more like a gloss but it's a thick gloss. This reminds me of like the ABH glosses. You see how much color comes off there? I don't know what, oh, it smells a little minty too. Yeah, that has a lot of color payoff. So I think that will be pretty. I picked up this L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. This is a primer. And I was watching Jen Phelps, I believe, and she said that this was a dupe to the Tarte Smoothing Primer, the Clean Slate Primer. Y'all know that it's one of my Holy Grail primers for the pore area here and then on my forehead. And so I wanted to try this because that one's over $40. And I think this one's still pretty expensive for the drugstore. I think this one was like $14, definitely over $10. So. I'm going to try this out and do a comparison to let you guys know if I really think it's a dupe. It's a little different when you're not getting PR and you're spending your own money. Is it the same or not? Another primer I found, this is the Hard Candy All Day Wear Combat Pore Defense Primer Serum. Honestly, <laughs> just because I don't have, I'm trying to think if I have any hard candy stuff. I think I used to, and I might have decluttered it, so I don't have anything else hard candy, but I think this is the first time I've seen something that says it's a pore defense, 
to help minimize the look of pores, but it's also in a serum form because normally pore minimizing is like that silicone. Let's see what this feels like. And it is green. Ooh. I don't know if it's, it doesn't really, it doesn't really smell like anything. It does kind of have that silicone feel to it. It says it has a microfine powder that blurs fine lines and the color correct skin tone, which is why it's green. Okay. Ooh, I like how this feels. And y'all know hard candy is like super inexpensive. I know you can't see on my hand, but it definitely feels like my hand is smoother. It looks hydrated. I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but I can definitely feel it. I'm going to keep this on my hand though, because I want to see if it actually dries down or if it still feels kind of slippery. A few more makeup products. I picked up two lip colors from Black Radiance. This first one, this is called their Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream. These are basically like nudes, but one is a little warmer. The one on top is a little warmer and the bottom one is like that cool tone kind of grayish brown color which is not something that i normally wear a lot but after i did the look where i showed you guys that oh, what brand was it cover fx the monochromatic in it's mulberry it didn't look anything like i thought it would but i mixed it with a different lip liner and it came out really pretty so this is in the shade okay that sucks because the shades are on the plastic that you have to take off this is in Taste Master. So this is the one that looks a little more nude. Ooh, that's a gorgeous color. That is almost like a My Lips But Better shade. That one right there. And then the other one is in the shade Naughty Brown. And that is straight up brown. This texture feels a little different than the other one i wonder why matte lip cream matte lip cream hmm all right i don't know what y'all doing but these don't feel the same and then that's the other one up there that is a brown for real for real and i don't think i have ever worn a brown that dark so that will be interesting i decided to pick up this revlon color stay light cover foundation on a whim this is in the shade 550 Mocha. I have been into lighter formula foundations for days when I'm just in a hurry and I don't want to have to worry about like spending so much time blending it out. Usually if it's a lighter coverage, then you have more wiggle room with the shades. If it's not an exact match, it doesn't look as bad because it's not as thick. Yeah, that primer dried down. That feels really nice. I was not expecting that from Hard Candy. But anyway, <laughs> distracted. This is what the shade looks like up there. You can see it is a bit liquidy. Ooh, that is a pretty color. Wow, that blended right into my skin. I don't know how much this will be able to be built up, but I think that shade is absolutely beautiful. Again, that's in 550 Mocha. So I'm gonna use this on camera because I do want you guys to be able to see how it actually builds up. But I have high hopes for this one. I finally found the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I am not gonna open this right now because I have way too many other mascaras open. This does have the silicone hard bristles, but everyone has been talking about how great this mascara is. And y'all know I've been doing a lot to try to make my lashes grow. And like right now, I don't have lashes on. This is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. Absolutely love it. First impressions, beautiful. If it doesn't flake on me, which it hasn't yet, this is something I'm probably going to pick up and get a full size. Because right now I just have the mini. But I will keep you guys posted on this. I'm probably going to end up opening it and using it because this is pretty popular right now and I want you guys to know my thoughts. But yeah, everyone's been talking about how great this is. It's lash lengthening, it's curling, defining, all that good stuff. So I was excited to be able to find it because it's been sold out a lot of places. Last two things I have are nails. First set, I thought this was really pretty just for like a cute little spring 
look. The top one is like a holographic kind of pearlescent and then there's a pink and then there's a purple. So I love having nails where you can do different designs with them. And I think this is the first pack that I've seen that has all solids, but it's different colors. So pick that up. And then I just thought these are gorgeous. These are definitely special occasion because they look a little long, even though it says medium. This is also by the, oh, I'm sorry. The first ones were, yeah, they're both Kiss. These are the Impress stick on. And then these have tabs, but they're actually glue on. It says it's seven day wear, but that is never the case for me, especially being in the gym. This is in the style 60664. So as you can see, those are a neutral shade, but then they have silver glitter on the tips. So I thought that would be really pretty for a special occasion and because I can't wear really long nails all the time. All right, guys, I feel like I've been talking forever, but that is the end of this haul, everything drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed it and comment below and let me know what you want to see first. I'm definitely excited about doing the full face of Milani because these products are very promising. And since I've been doing a lot of high end stuff, I feel like it's time to remind you guys that you can get amazing products at the drugstore that don't cost as much as high end stuff. Thank you guys for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I will be back soon with a video using a lot of the products that you guys saw. I'll see you next time. Bye.